where we had some people like T. Townsend Brown who were studying anti-gravity quite independent of this issue back in the 20s, 30s, and 40s. But when their information got combined with studying these spacecraft, they figured out, ah, oh, this is how they're working. Uh, today I brought a new video uh, which talks about my little device that I built a few days ago. Mm, as you can see, there's a little bit of a difference because uh, I made a I made an upgrade uh, uh, according to how you knew the first design. Uh, this second design is a little bit advanced. Mm, I tried to make it a little bigger because uh, I wanted to get a bigger effect. Mm, so I used um, I used a large design, uh, which will be able to uh, even repel a lot of things. Mm, and instead of using uh, 15 kV, I'm using 30 kV uh, of electrostatic charges. Mm, so I also uh, brought the I also brought the uh, the volume instead of uh, as you actually knew before in the latest videos. I was using uh, the switch to turn on the um, the ultrasonic sound, but right now what I do, I turn on the uh, the ultrasonic sound uh, and the electrostatic charges, and then I control the electromagnetic field resonating with uh, the electrostatic charges by uh, tuning the volume. In the latest videos, people have been asking me a lot about how this little device works, and the internal design of it, um, and the uh, possible ways that I use uh, to make it repel uh, almost anything that I put on the top. So uh, what I can tell you right now is that I didn't change the I didn't change the the design. The design is the same as the design that I had uh, on that little. Uh, that little device that I built before. Mm, so right now I'm using a little bit advanced design, uh, which is larger, uh, but I didn't change the internal design though. Mm, I'm, I'm still using the same design that I used in the latest videos. I try to bring all of the types of things that I want to see how they act. So this is what I got. You see? But this thing here is a little bit advanced, as I uh, as I actually say that uh, it has a lot of potential. It has a lot of potential. And it can also lift a lot of things. It can also lift uh, bigger, bigger things. Mm, so instead of uh, lifting the uh, little objects, actually, instead of lifting uh, lifting the real objects here, I made a. I made, in this video, I'm gonna show you the exact example of what I'm talking about. Because I made even a bigger stone revitate. I'm gonna try this uh, with uh, with a stone and see how it acts too.
and I really uh, apologize to some of you guys who have been asked me to uh, post more videos about this little device because uh, it is actually fascinating to be honest. It is actually fascinating, but I don't want to get my channel actually uh, blocked by YouTube though because uh, sometimes in some ways YouTube YouTube block uh, this kind of stuff. So I try to talk less about it. Because I don't want to get my channel actually blocked. Uh, but I will find I will actually find another way to show you those stuff because I think uh this is actually another game changer which actually is going to change the way we understood anti-gravity.